So for me, and this is my opinion, you guys can let me know yours in the comments, but I think one of the biggest differences between a boss and a leader is a boss pretty much does whatever they want to do and expect order to still be maintained in all facets of the job, whatever that may be. A leader, on the other hand, typically is going to do things like if his pet peeve is people being late or not showing up on time, whatever the case is, being late to meetings, then a leader typically is going to be the first person in the door, last person to leave, you know, that sort of situation. The leader is going to be the person who shows up on time, has, in this situation, clean deals, you know, doesn't cause any sort of um, finance issues or anything like that with the customers, you know, pretty much has a clean slate with respect to their stuff. That person is a leader. The person who thinks they're a boss is the person who's always late, who's always sitting around playing on their phone, sitting around doing absolutely nothing, but expects everybody around them to be working, 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 right? So a boss is typically somebody who has something to prove. You know, titles mean a lot to bosses. Leaders don't really typically care about a title because there are people with lesser titles who make more money than some of these bosses, okay? And a boss is also intimidated by people who are under him that make more money. A leader, however, doesn't care. They don't care. They've, they've had the titles, they've had the, you know, all the accolades, whatever. Then they're done that. That doesn't impress them. What impresses them now is their ability to maintain their household and take good care of their families. All that, I'm the manager or I'm the this, I'm the that. Nobody cares who you are. They care about what you can do to help them. And, uh, you know, so you'll find, you'll find a leader pick up the phone and say, this is so-and-so from insert dealership name, right? And they just have a regular conversation. A boss is gonna say, this is so-and-so over at insert dealership and I'm the GSM or I'm the general manager. Nobody, nobody cares. That's not gonna get you any further than if you were the porter. I mean, that, what do you want? How can I help you? And what can you do for me? That's, that's how, that's how the world works. It's all product. It's all selling. It's all needs and wants. That's how the world works. That's how economies flourish. That's how things happen, you know, but if you're just a boss, you're not going to see certain things. So a boss is typically they're, they're not actually that intelligent. They don't, they don't know as much as they think they do. They've just had some luck, got under the right people. I mean that literally and figuratively, um, and have gotten themselves in positions that they otherwise really don't qualify for. You know, and they'll have someone who is underneath them position wise, no more. And the boss doesn't know how to talk to him, you know, talks crazy to him, talks just out of pocket, just unnecessary. Right. But a leader, even if they have an issue, they have a gripe, if they have a complaint, they approach it in a dignified manner. They approach it in a respectful way, because why a leader wants the same thing that they're giving out. And if they give respect, they're gonna obviously be expected to be met back with that same respect. A boss, however, will talk stupid, crazy, say something off the wall, disrespectful, or you know, whatever, and expect you to just take it because you need the job. Well, unfortunately, you have a whole generation of people who have figured out how to make money doing all sorts of different things, legally, of course, 